Uh, the extended flight plan is a, an extension of the current ICAO flight plan. What we have done is to add to the data that is currently included in the ICAO flight plan the 4D profile information as it was calculated by the airspace user system and uh, a third part uh, that is called the flight performance data that is trying to give us and anybody else ATC later on receiving the extended flight plan information about the performance of the aircraft in the conditions of that flight. One of the main benefits of the extended flight plans is to, is to provide us the same view as the airspace users on the plan of that flight. The purpose of this exercise is to, to see what uh, an extended flight plan can uh, provide and what we as an uh, airline can benefit. This week is gonna, it's offering us the opportunity to receive extended flight plans uh, sent by, uh, by the airspace users and to try to process them as we would do in operations. So basically my colleagues uh, from operations, the, the IPS operators are following the, these extended flight plans in, uh, in, in our interface and uh, trying to correct them where they need a correction, giving feedback to the airspace users where there's a need for feedback. So basically trying to do their job as they would do it in operations. I have received one or more flight plan parameters and acknowledged. Okay, let me check. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, nine, correct? Yes. yes. The extended flight plan is a new format of filing uh, flight plan information. From the CESAR point of view, a very strategic project because it is a very key and first step toward the concept of the business trajectory. It's great that the first example was giving a reject on the ICAO and then uh, acknowledge on the FBL, which is yeah. quite good. Okay, we will try to, to force uh, an invalid now. The benefit would be that we could have a more optimized uh, flight profile in reality and not only on the operational flight plan. To improve a lot of processes, both at the level of flight planning, flow management and air traffic control operations. To reduce the, work, the, you know, the pressure on the guys in the office when we need to reduce stuff anyway. The other thing which might be interesting is aircraft type is A320. Let's go to the next one, which is the, it's almost the same, but now with, the, with another aircraft type. The airline operational flight plan would uh, more correspond to the file ATC flight plan. With very high uh, accuracy and time prediction because of the uh, higher granularity of information. And that might reduce uh, rejects caused by inconsistencies between the trajectory which is used by the IFPS by network manager compared to what was calculated by the flight planning system. It will lead to the deployment which is planned in the next few years. To uh, better control the flights, uh, to do a better uh, separation and to increase uh, capacity. We will get more efficient flight plans out of it and that will be beneficial for our operation to save money, to save fuel. Enhancing the flight planning process is key because it will bring higher predictability to air traffic management and will also increase the efficiency of airlines operations. It's a really good step forward in the evolution of flight planning in the future.